Hey guys, Jason here with a word to the wise. I was trying to make a good video and then I realized it just looked a little too serious and too weird, but it has to do with a lot of this mental illness we see today being spoken of. And kind of also, I guess you could say the, the target clothing debacle that's happening at the moment with uh, their clothing wear, having to deal with Satanism, not Lucifer, Satanism. And I've seen it in the past in a few videos of other people, On Point Preparedness has touched on this, but imagine how do you bring in the good guy? You point out the bad guy. Who's the bad guy? Satan. Who's the good guy? Lucifer. The angel of light. Especially if you bring Lucifer to a Catholic, that's what that's what they'll say. Oh, well, it's Italian. It means the light angel or angel of light. And as it's spoken in uh, 1 Corinthians, I want to say chapter 13, but he disguises himself as an angel of light. And I believe he's spoken of in Isaiah 13, which happened to deal with a number of rebellion, interestingly. So, in that, imagine that Target is a part of the program to bring up Satan to be the bad guy to be taken down. Does this affect Target? Yeah, oh, they just lost $9 billion in sales this week alone. You're telling me that they bring in $9 billion? $9 billion in clothing sales and, and, and merchandise? That's mind-blowing right there. Let me slow down to get behind this car. So, look at Amazon. Amazon doesn't have stores. Amazon does things online, and they're one of the biggest retailers in the world. Do you think Target is worried about something like that? Or imagine that Amazon is throwing them a couple bones saying, hey, you know what? You might lose some business and sales, but we need to, we need people to propagate our uh, propagandas. So if we're ever going to get this thing, you know, where the rubber meets the road, we need to get this Satan stuff out in public a lot more because it's not happening fast enough. The after school programs, the uh, library reading times, yada 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 but literally putting baphomets on clothing children's clothing and trying to sell it to people come on can you can you you're telling me that some marketing guru for for target thought that would be a good business model come on really really no way way too staged Oh, look, they just, what, what do people say? Oh, you just, you know, the beer company themselves. Come on. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. Oh, I see that they're striping early. It's Saturday, the 27th. Totally clear skies, not a cloud in the sky, and there's two planes striping it up. So imagine you're going to have barbecues and be out this weekend. Oh, good, because they're going to be out dropping that stuff on you. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, because because uh, the you know the weather conditions might get a little too hot for the world. Yeah, oh man, it is what it is. You know what? It just shows that Jesus is coming soon. And with that, I want to move on to something else. That the video that I kind of pulled back from in Revelation nine, the opening of the pit and the locusts that come out of the pit. Now I've spoken on like the beast of the field in, in the fourth seal, you know, able to kill a fourth of the world, but that's the seals, not the trumpets. So the fifth trumpet, that's, that's where that happens. And then you see a little bit more of it in chapter 11, talking about uh, the two witnesses and Apollyon. Apollyon kills the two witnesses or has them killed. I'm not sure if he has a hand in it, but the people, you know, they love it. They're happy that it's all done. They even make like celebrations until they're raised three days later. And then 
a little bit of chaos hits that land of the timepiece, no less. So imagine, well, no, no, let me, let me pull back the wording on that. I'm sorry. So in, um, Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and even in Acts, you can see where evil spirits, corrupt spirits, unclean spirits, um, I don't think they ever use the word demons, but if you're not a good angel, you're, you're, you're a bad, you know, and this could be the spirits that were fallen in Genesis 6, spoken of, the, I think it was, was it 200, 200 million, a third of the angels, I believe, were cast down find a good place to park and I'll just wrap this kind of quick but in Luke 11 Luke 11 um, chapter 11 verse 24 through 26 it speaks on the hang on it speaks on the the spirit that goes out of a man and it wanders the earth and it finds no rest and goes back and is seven times worse than the first. There is legion when Jesus comes to the shore and the, the man with chains who keeps breaking his chains and does not allow people to pass and is tormented and Jesus says what is your name and he says legion because we are many so he had many spirits in him there's the father who had the son and he comes to him begging him to help he says he casts himself into the fire often and throws himself into the water but he doesn't kill himself same thing with the man in the in the cemetery, the legion. Beats himself up regularly, but never kills himself. The woman that bring, speaks about her daughter having an unclean spirit. And he says, we don't, you know, we cast not our meat to the dogs. And she says, yes, but you give the, the crumbs from the master's table. And Jesus says, wise are you? Because she knew the scriptures. And... He, he says, your daughter is healed. Go home. Um, when Jesus is doing his ministry, his work, um, and he's healing the sick, when you see a lot of those verses, it says he healed the sick and cast out demons. I think that's, I want to say Matthew 12. I could be mistaken. Chapter 12. So, a lot of times in the Old Testament, there's a, uh, one of the more interesting ones was when Paul was on his walk and he had people following him saying, you know, you know, we want to cast and do work in Jesus name too. And he goes, well, you have to be faithful, believing that he is who he is and be reborn again, be cleansed. And I don't believe they did because then when he found one of these people possessed, he told them, you know, the, 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 unclean spirit speaks to them and says Jesus I know Paul I know but you two guys I do not know and he beats them up and they go running away he literally tore their clothes off they ran away naked and that could be like unclothed naked as in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 where it speaks about you know clothed in Jesus lest you be found naked um, so coming back to Revelation chapter 9 the locusts that come out of the pit going into tribulation and having the saints being persecuted in tribulation beheaded as in chapter 20 imagine that when the locusts come out of the pit it isn't physical bodies but spirits that come out of the pit and dwell in people now imagine if there's multiples and they're all working together and put those people up in front of a camera on a stage with a microphone, a camera, and they have a voice to 
to speak on what's right, what's wrong. We're going to stop the tyranny. Or you could have the other half also working with them, but being the antagonist in the in the the conversation, saying, "Oh, well, you know, we you know, we need to have." you know, some sort of a rise of communism or some sort of a tyranny on the world and, you know, take away your freedoms because you guys are too free and we need more taxes and more surveillance and blah, blah, blah. And then you have the other side of that saying, oh, we're going to stop this and put ourselves back to our freedom, our God-given rights in, you know, we got to get back to the Old Testament and bring in the Noahides, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, those Matthew 24 where Jesus is warning, let no man deceive you beware they'll say that I am Christ and will deceive many um, the vultures there's many times in Matthew 24 I can't remember how many it is but then also it speaks about the, the the children coming and putting their parents to death turning in their parents so is it false hoods are they a part of the bad programming are they you know what is it where the, the the children are being turned in by their their they're turning in their parents. So we I, I, I had a kind of a quiet weekend lined up or a lot of kind of fun and it got really busy really quick and I'm not complaining about that. It's going to be kind of fun in the sense I love to cook and and kind of cater. So just a word to the wise guys. Hopefully this all kind of uh, makes a little sense. But look at it. Look into it. Um, why would Jesus throughout his ministry deal with all these bad spirits? Where have these bad spirits gone? And if you even do a quick Google search back in 2018, the Pope was organizing exorcist classes, exorcism schools, 400 priests to be taught in exorcisms and even in February, I found an article talking about the rise of these kinds of things being needed and necessary for the world. Just imagine. And then you have the mental health issues lining up. How easy would it be for them in these times in the future to say, oh, you know why you're talking like this? You got mental issues. Oh, you know why you're talking like this? You must be possessed by a devil. Beelzebub, how many times did they accuse Jesus of such a thing? Interesting, right? Just a word to the wise guys. God bless.